I'm Eric Rempel. I'm the Chief Innovation Officer for Redwood Logistics. And uh, Redwood Logistics is a uh, North American third-party logistics service provider. So what that means is we move customers' freight. We have a multimodal brokerage. Um, we ship um, freight for our customers all over the country. We have an asset-based division where we actually have trucks as well. So we just we buy and sell freight on our brokerage side. We have our own trucks that we manage on our asset side. And then uh, we have warehousing distribution. And the team that I'm uh, most associated with is our technology and supply chain solutions group. So we deliver supply chain solutions for our customers. And what that means is they'll integrate their data with us uh, so that we can look at their networks, look at their orders, optimize their shipping across the country, and uh, help them find ways to do it better and save money. So data drives everything. Um, if you don't measure it, you can't improve it. So from our point of view, uh, it's really important to understand um, what we're doing as a business. And that starts with KPIs and standard reporting, but then that goes all the way out into data science and predictive analytics and finding ways to um, you know, really transform the way in which we look at our business, uh, which is quite difficult in a supply chain and logistics world because there's so many variables and there's so much data being generated constantly that um, it almost became overwhelming for us to, to manage all of this as we grew. We look at our data as serving two groups of, of users. One is our internal users, and that's everyone from, you know, operations analysts all the way up to executives. Um, how's the business doing? What are we doing? What caused events to happen? Um, how are our KPIs? Um, everything that you would expect within a business and obviously delivering that up to teams that um, do more engineering and data science, um, you know, that, that's on the internal side. Um, externally as well, our customers have similar challenges. So as a business that manages logistics, uh, it's really important for us to give our customers the tools that they need to find insight in their shipping patterns. So it's one thing if they give us, uh, you know, a, a portion of their supply chain to manage, but what really helps is when we can take a holistic view at their data, what they're doing out in the market, and then give that information back to them in an easy, digestible way. A cloud data warehouse for us was really important because the big challenge that we had was innovating at a very rapid pace. And so when you have to do everything on-prem and do it with your own teams and do it internally, you have to worry about infrastructure and provisioning and security and all of these measures that when you leverage a tool like Snowflake and go up in the cloud, um, you can find a lot of value drivers to increase your, um, your ROI. So very, very quickly, we can iterate and innovate around the points of um, not worrying about an infrastructure team and not worrying about the security team and the DevOps team. We can just start trying out new technologies, seeing how they impact our business, and then decide if we want to merge those into our ecosystem. It's very difficult to do that with uh, traditional on-prem solutions. So before Snowflake, we were using uh, your, and we still do, we still use our, our, your Microsoft uh, you know, analytics and, and reporting packages, so your SSRS, AS, and IS, um, and and we were leveraging all of that, but um, in your on-prem environment, it's a little hard or, or expensive to scale that out for performance. So as we grew, um, we started facing challenges around uh, concurrency, number of users, creating cubes, um, you know, how often we had to reprocess, how quickly we could tee up the freshest data to our internal and external users. And that became challenging with scale. Our company grew very, very quickly, and some on-prem solutions that were working well in the past when we were smaller started to fall apart at scale. So that forced us to start looking, are there other ways to, to solve this problem? We chose Snowflake to deal with the issue of concurrency, um, compute, and cost. Um, so from our point of view, we wanted to load a ton of data in at the same time. And that's a challenge in a traditional data warehouse sense. So having massive concurrency in terms of inputting data was big. Um, same thing with number of users. Uh, if, if we had a whole bunch of users trying to access the system, we would have to scale horizontally. That's handled for us automatically now. Um, and the last part is with storage and compute being decoupled, we can take advantage of multiple data warehouses for multiple different use cases, whether they're business units or different customers, and understand exactly who's using what, how they're using the resources, and we can allocate allocate the appropriate um, uh, compute resources to our own internal team and customers in a way that we didn't have uh, before. So now we have granularity, flexibility, and visibility, not only into loading and reading data, but also into which users use it, how often. Um, it, it's just been a huge paradigm shift for us. A big way that our, our business operates differently now because of Snowflake is our ability to deliver customers their own compute instances. Um, what that means in business terms is we can quickly and easily give our customers 
customers their own playground to work with, analyze their own data, figure out their own patterns, um, and find insights into their supply chains that were very difficult or impossible in the past. Um, we certainly do that for ourselves, but in delivering that to our customers, it's been a big, big shift. Um, the reason is, as a business, what we do is we move data between our customer systems and supply chain uh, ecosystem applications, data providers, various partners all the time. And all that information is moving through our uh, platform that we call Redwood Connect. And inside of that platform, we now have the ability to take that data and give it back to our customers in ways that they can start finding insight. They didn't have that before. And if we were doing it before, we had challenges with your traditional data warehouse problems of scale and users and concurrency. So Snowflake really let us uh, solve that problem of the one size fits all for customers because of its ability to scale very quickly. Our small customers can use small nodes, our large customers can use larger nodes, and they can scale it out based on how they want to start finding insights and meaning from the data, rather than us needing to worry about not only finding business value for them, but dealing with compute and provisioning and all of the challenges traditionally associated with um, data warehousing. We don't have to think about that anymore. So it lets us iterate much, much faster on delivering value value to our customers instead of thinking about infrastructure and, and data. So the future for Redwood is pretty excited. Uh, we're a quickly growing company that you know is, is looking to triple in size over the next few years. And in order to do that, um, we need to be highly data driven. Um, so the great thing about Snowflake and what it's doing for us is we can give data to anybody, whether it's a data scientist that wants to start finding patterns in various parts of our business and looking at random pieces of data that he or she wants to put together, all the way down to curated reports where people don't have to worry about performance and can look back and find trends themselves over time without needing a data science degree um, using you know newer modern cloud BI tools. So it's been a lot of fun for us to see that evolution with Snowflake. And for us, the future opportunity landscape is, is really ripe because um, with the neat tools that you can embed into Snowflake, like you know R and Python adapters for data data science and just delivering that data to folks that know how to use it and can find meaning in large data sets, that's really going to change the way we look at things like pricing and procurement and um, identification of anomalies and um, you know various algorithms that we can develop to um, automate um, our business and create less touches in a world where every single time we have to touch the data or touch the business objects, um, you know, it, it's people that have to do that work. So if we can find actionable insights from the data in a much easier way, which Snowflake helps us do, um, our ability to innovate becomes much, much faster. Snowflake makes my life easier because I don't have to worry about all of the stuff associated with data warehouse that we dealt with in the past, um, whether that's performance, outages, uh, um, scale issues, concurrency issues, that's all gone. And it's part of a new lower cost infrastructure that also you know, doesn't rely on us to manage it. So we can now focus on delivering value that the data tells us about rather than worrying about maintaining the infrastructure for that data. So all of those people are now freed up to improve the business in other areas and we can have data scientists and analysts looking at that data at light speed whereas compared to the previous world, they would have to work with IT and open up tickets and try to get data themselves. It's It's been a big game changer for us in terms of curating that data for people to find insights. So some neat key results or metrics for us have to do with um, loading the data. So it's really important that as we're generating and consuming massive amounts of data, both from our internal systems as well as the marketplace in general, that we can feed all of that data into a data warehouse for analytical purposes very, very quickly. Um, so you know, running these high-speed ETLs has never been a challenge for us, but having a back-end system that can consume the data that quickly has been troublesome. So by using Snowflake, our our ability to load data that used to take us 24 hours is now done in under a minute. And that has been a game changer because people can now look at what just happened and find insight from it rather than remembering an event from the previous day and having to wait 24 hours to analyze it in the data warehouse.